Well, you know, there was a lot of things that went our way tonight. You know, thank God we were blessed in a lot of ways. Uh, if our kids can overcome their head coach, we're going to be all right. I did a horrible job tonight at times with clock management and things of that nature. But uh, the thing I'm most proud of, the thing we talk about the most, is just is, is our kids continuing to fight, um, to not give up, to play hard. Uh, to not lose the faith and fight for each other, and that's the thing I'm most proud of. I mean, the X's and O's and all that, it's, it's not real hard. You know, you block, you tackle, try to take care of the football, try not to create any dumb penalties, which I probably had as many penalties as the kids did tonight. But like I said, you know, as long as we keep fighting and battling, good things are going to happen for us. Number one, Nigel Dickerson, touchdown to the we gave up a lot of yards, you know, we ran it right at us. That's something we've always been a little bit susceptible to because we're not we're not the biggest uh, biggest group in the world. You know, we rely more on athleticism and attacking our gaps and things like that. So that's going to happen as long as we, you know, keep it manageable and bend but not break. Uh, you know, we, I don't think we hardly had the ball in the first half, so that was a big problem. In the second half, we were able to get it back a little more. So, you know, we didn't panic. Uh, offense or defense, we stayed with the game plan, and the kids made it happen for us. You know, we still control our own destiny. That's, that's the thing I told them before the game. You know, right now we control our own destiny, and hopefully by the end of the night we control our own destiny. So uh, you know, I think we're uh, two, of, two of one in the region. There's going to be a lot of teams like that, so we still got a chance. Okay, we're going to set the clock on the touchdown for today.